All right, quick news reports, quick reports, something along those lines. Let me address some uh, quick um, report alerts, quick uh, things that uh, are new in the watch, you know, quick watch report, something like those along those lines. So I'm going to be addressing a few things. Um, but in this, uh, I'm going to go ahead, before I get going into a call, I'm like, how about some y'all? Shout out, shout out to the whole feet. Like, um, you had a situation that just occurred in Vegas, Las Vegas. I can bring it out out there. And, you know, it's what's just shown to you in this article, which came out July 29, 2022. And it says, making it rain in Las Vegas, but not in, in, in the same old play that way. Right, the Lord is raining on all of that. He's raining on the wicked of our people's parade. You know, no more rain, making it rain in the club. He, you know, in the Sin City, the Lord made it. He flooded it, pretty much. You know, you see, you got the videos and whatnot here. You know, he flooded casinos and everything, cars uh, submerged in water. You know. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. And that sentiment pretty much is like saying, you know, what happens, what what happened, it, you know, happens. You can't change it. You know, you can't, you can't uh, take it out of Las Vegas. So that's, that's, that's funny. That's spiritual. But this title says, making it rain in Las Vegas, flash floods. Flow down iconic strip, leaving multiple casinos, including Circle Resort and Link Hotel, deluged with water, and gamblers soaked as storms batter Sin City. Get that word, deluge. You see right here, a flood of flood water. All right, a flood water. And that's in the meaning of it, of, of the word deluge, which comes from the, which is seen pretty much in Spanish, is, was the diluvio, and it says uh, a flood water, which goes back into another Greek word, which goes into another old, old Greek word, which means the rain turned to a deluge. So this came from rain. All right, and that's what we keep keep want to focus in on. So this 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 is a, a signs and tokens and etc. from the Lord. It says this is from this is in Kentucky Friday, St. Louis Thursday, and then Las Vegas Thursday night. You know, Friday Kentucky was hit Friday morning. Uh, St. Louis Thursday afternoon, and Las Vegas uh, Thursday night. All right, which I believe was last night upon making this video. Now, chaotic weather systems are battering states across the U.S. because this is the place that the Heavenly Father, you know, has his eyes set on a sinful kingdom, including he said he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth. Right. To the point where he said this place is going to be, you know, that was set up, that was rooted. You're going to see it basically wasted suddenly. You're just going to be what you're going to wake up. Stuff going to be closed and stuff going to be taken out. Institutes, things that was set up, uh, you know, traditions going to be ended, you know, breaking records of, you know, of how long they consecutively, you know, were celebrated and honored, you know, or held in memorial. All, all that, you know, is, 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 is what the Lord is going to waste. You know, he's going to bring a waste to suddenly, you know, how they got Vegas set up and whatnot. It says, including tor 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 torrential flooding and danger to life thunderstorms in Kentucky, Missouri, and intense downpours in Nevada. Flash floods hit downtown Vegas on Thursday night as torrential rain battered the city as people were forced to seek shelter. The iconic Caesar's Palace was also flooded. That's spiritual. All right. People saying that, uh, you know, the Lord said, that, you know, though the wicked join the hand, 
you know, the uh, though hand join hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Many shall seek to the ruler's favor, right? But every man's judgment comes comes from the Lord, and the ruler is Caesar. Going back into when, you know, the Israelites, you know, who today are the so-called Black Latinos and Native American Indians, and specific those Judites or so-called West Indians and Negroes, right? They, um, they said they have no king but Caesar, but Caesar. But Caesar was already condemned, you know, because he's an Edomite. He was an Edomite. And, and uh, who's the prince of this world, which is condemned already, according to St. John, the 16th chapter. So people can seek to him, but he's going to be brought down. And all that's, gonna, that's found with them shall be thrust through, right? And Caesar, who was a Roman, is back today and will be here, right, with the Romans. With, who are the so-called white people? Who are the Edomites, the Idumians? They... They will be here also, those Romans, those so-called white people, because they're the so-called white people who are here today. They will be here. Those Romans will be here when the Lord comes back, when he returns. Right? According to Revelation 1. You know, behold, he coming with clouds. Every eye shall see, see him, and, every, and even they which pierced him, which were who? The Romans. So-called white people. In specifics, uh, that going into who? Caesar. Right? So the iconic Caesar's palace, so all you people can, you know, you, you know, look out and caught up with Jake. And Jake's still cleaving unto Caesar unto this day. But it says the iconic Caesar's palace was also flooded. See that? Meanwhile, in Kentucky, at least 16 people have died in the state's worst flooding in history. Water is shown pouring through the roofs of a casino and soaking the carpet amid the chaotic weather system battering parts of the U.S. It comes less than a week after 85 million Americans were sent sweltering in record-breaking heat, heat waves that were 13, 13 degree Fahrenheit above the average, killing two people in New York and Pennsylvania. And I haven't got a chance to touch on that yet. Uh, you know, or the spirit has really ain't been on me to go into that yet, but, you know, the thing about it, it says casinos and hotels are semi underwater <laughs> and flashing flooding in Las Vegas while children are feared dead in Kentucky after the state was hit after the state was hit with its worst deluge or deluge in history. So this is this is this is all the doings of Yahweh Bashmel Shah by every means, man. So you got the pictures right here. Let me jump back. You know, they're going to have the ads. We'll just roll through these joints. All right. You know, look at that. That's inside of these things. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing off. I don't want to rock this eye. Okay. All right, there we go. Call on like how about me on shot. Look at that. Look at that. So we're just going to go through a, a few of these videos real quick through the spirit. And I'll be back. And this is all about the rain, by the from the rain, rain by the way, right? Like how about smell shot through the rain, by the way? You know, you've seen what just happened. That's the inside of, you know, the building in uh, Las Vegas. You know, Esau's buildings, Jake Go, etc. But I was going to hit these scriptures real quick. This is Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time. How do you know the time? Second Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. So there you go. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time. So there it is. That's how you know the time, by measuring it, by watching, looking for the signs, waiting for them to pass. Signs of 
things the Lord told us, signs in which the Lord, uh, and with signs and signs in which the Lord, uh, which are you know will be particular events uh, occur. You know that the Lord told us will be signs of the end of this world, the end of all things. You know the end of the so-called white man's rule forever, and us being down, right? Things that will contribute to this, to this man's end, to this kingdom's end, to Jake having excuses and, and people being able to be caught up in the lie, you know, and people thinking we got it wrong, you know, that once you see all those things come to pass, that's when you know, but you know exactly what. Then shalt thou understand, second Ezra 9 and 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Jumping to the point. So these are signs that the Lord is here. He's doing this, that the power, the God of Israel is back. He's about to show us up again. The God of the Israelites is back, who have <coughs> been revealed to today be, you know, the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians this whole time, who were hid through the so-called white man for their own wickedness by the same God, who's the God of them, who's actually the creator of all, right? But now that time, that punishment is coming to an end because the select group, the elect group of them are awakening. They're being sealed and the Lord is about to save. He's about to save, save us. He's about to save them. Lord willing, we be of that, of that number. Right, it's gonna be a small group of so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians that are hid from this. And you have those of these particular ones that have been awakened to their lot in the form of being prophets that have given, been given this message first and foremost to deliver to the rest that were predestinated to hear it, you know? And even to those that were predestinated to forbear, not hear it, you know? Which will be the start or the ushering in of the ending of this captivity of this punishment, which is also simultaneously the ending of the so-called white man's world. But anyway, so he's going to use these particular events, which are said to be signs to help contribute to all of this and prove that all of this is actually happening. When you jump to the point, it says, verse four, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, before we even got to the, before, these things were being brought out, these things were written, these things were declared, right? This particular event that's happening across the globe, you know, this, these particular, you know, this rain, this deluge, these floods, these weathers, that's, that storms that's completely destroying everything, right? America, okay, is, is uh, uh, was already declared before, you know, it, it, it manifested. <laughs> today, right? Even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So there it is. So it's, this all points to the end. The end of the so-called white man's rulership, Esau, and the end of our captivity of so-called so blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Verse six, even so the times also of the highest have played plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So these certain things, these certain events, effect, they bring effects. They have, they take a certain effect. They take a toll on things. They affect how things move forth. They, they affect the faith. They affect, you know, the, 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 how much is left in the grace period. They affect all of that, you know? How much, how, how less you have to say, gain say against all of that. We come back here, Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time. So now you know that now it is high time to awake out of sleep because we're going to get specific signs too. this rain being one of them. For now, it is our salvation. For now, it is our salvation nearer than we believe. So that's what all of this tell, uh, shows us. You know, the Heavenly Father flooding this place out. So I'm going to jump over. This is a. Uh, uh, you know what? Let me go back to the video.
So you should, you should be able to see this clearly. Think for yourself on these, but this is a picture from the video. So with the thumbnail or, or the caption telling you exactly what that was that you've seen in the video, water is shown pouring through the roofs of a casino and soaking the carpet while and people were filmed drenched by the torrential rain. Casinos and hotels are under, are semi underwater as flooding in Las Vegas forces punters to seek shelter from a rare thunderstorm. <sighs> New video. So you seen it. That's Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Jeremiah 9 and 23. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. You know? Or the wise man boasting his wisdom paraphrasing. So that's all, man. It's all here. All right? So we, we, man, we, we, we have nothing to worry about. We have a, a sure more word of prophecy. It's all here, you know? So first Peter four and seven, but the end of all things is at hand. Call on like, how about me? I was shy. It says, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So there it is. We need, we need to be acting like the world about the end. You know, our salvation is on the way. And above all these things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. So, you know, it's, we want to be using this time to 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 really get, you know, uh, take advantage because we already know how it's going to end. So we can literally be, you know, through the spirit on the Lord's good side. We can literally, you know, uh, uh, do the works, you know, put on therefore as the elect. That we may be saved, man. You know that, that have that that uh, that labor of love. You know on our on our resume, you know, and which the Lord said He wouldn't forget in the NLT. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. All right. So let's go ahead and get get to this. So now, this this is seen in this rain. That's that's is is actually breaching and breaking down and wasting suddenly these establishments these these uh casinos these hotels these pl places for the high and mighty of the high and mighty and for niggas to be proud and think you know they don't have to listen you know and got people thinking that their world is untouchable the so-called white man gonna go forever all right all of that is 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 finally coming to an end you know, and it's it's making us that took the that's taking the humble route that's betting with Yahweh by Shmuel Sha, uh, look good, and and it's 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 showing us we we have it right, and we're about to win. You know what I'm saying? That's this is this is great news, man. And the Lord is is rising up for all these against all these wicked people for coming up against us, man. For being, you know, pretty much a. a a cosign uh, against, pretty much just coming up against us, man. This is Psalm 65, and I'm gonna start at eight. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts of the, in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Those tokens go into those signs going into Second Ezra, Second Ezra five and one. Nevertheless, as come in the tokens, those signs, behold, the days shall come. 
that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren with a faith. And these people are going to be asked out. You think you're going to be asked out and you know this? No. You hold yourself diligent and fear the Lord, you're going to be straight. But, you know, and you keep yourself occupied and it shall no, shall no evil thing touch you. It says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which thou not which now thou seest. Yeah, because people are gonna wild out. They're not gonna know what to do. They, their response is gonna be carnal. Or that thou heard is long ago, and the land and the confounded one, and the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly. And that's these hotels, that's Las Vegas, Las Vegas, that's all these buildings made of metal that you thought could never come down, man. And you're starting to see signs like it's gonna come down. And when you read the second answers five and one, it tells you that these that, 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 that those tokens are signs, but about the signs. So that look, the days will come when those who live on earth will be seized with great terror. The way of truth will be hidden in the land, you and the land will be barren and devoid of faith, and justice will be multiplied beyond what you yourself see and beyond what you have heard of formerly. The land that you now see holding sway will have no one left to walk upon it, and the people will see it desolate. See, and the people will see it desolate. This is in the CEB. So five and five, it says, and blood shall drop out of the wood, out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice, and people and the people shall be troubled. This is back in this in verse six in the CEB, it says, a person, Salaki verse five, it says blood will drip from wood and stones will speak out. People will be troubled and natural courses will be changed. So that's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing things, strange things is happening. It's raining in buildings. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it's crazy, but, you know. But this is Psalm 65. That's the signs. It says uh, verse 8 or those tokens, they also, that dwell is 65 and 8, they... Also, that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid of thy tokens. Thou makest, because look at how they come off, you know. There are things that ain't supposed to be going on, and they going on in places where these people thought they couldn't be touched. You know, in places where people thought couldn't be touched, and that was rooted. It says, thou makest the outgoings of the morning and the evening to rejoice. Thou visited the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enraces it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it. Verse 10, the water, the, thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. So I'm getting this to show that the Heavenly Father bring forth this, the, this water, these rains. Thou sittest the, settlest the furrows thereof, thou makest it soft with showers, thou blessest the springing thereof. Now this is showing you obviously too that the water is used to be good, rain is to be good for you, but it also could be bad. When you read verse 10 in NLT, it says right here, you drench the plow ground with rain. You can drench it. Drenching is dang near borderline deludging, but he'll keep it from that when it's for good. Melting the, the clods and the leveling, the, and leveling the ridges, you soften the earth with showers and bless it with abundant crops. Now, that's when rain is to be good, but rain is also could be, it could be for bad too. And when you see it, for bad, you're going to know. And that's a sign that you will get after this. But this is Matthew 5 and 45, that ye may be the children of your father, which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. See, so the son is on the evil. It, it, like, for instance, that's the scripture for the heat waves that's been taking place. You know, so, uh, for all things are good to the godly, for the sinners they are turned into wickedness. You know, so what's to be for your good it could become, you know, a, a curse, you know, for, for bad. It could be used for bad. It says, for he make his son, the son, his son to rise on the evil and on the good. That's the point. And sent, and sent it rain on the just and on the unjust. So that shows you right there. The Lord sends forth rain to, to, to destroy. You know, rain could be used to, uh, you know, as for vengeance. For the Lord to destroy as we know it, the flood and the NLT and the way and that way you will be acting as the true children of your father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. All right. So capping this off for Samuel 12 
and I'm going to jump to the point. This is verse 18. I'm going to start at 17. Verse 16. Now, therefore, stand and see this great thing which the Lord, Yahweh, will do before your eyes. It is, is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto Yahweh, and he shall send thunder and rain. So wheat harvest is when you go out, you grab your harvest. You know, your wheat, right? Once it's time to get it, so you can eat, use it for what you need to. It says that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great. But if he sends rain on the day you need to harvest, thunder, rain, hence a storm, that can stop that. So this is showing you that rain, thunder could be used, you know, and should be seen. It could be used to destroy and bring back and, and, and bring the end of flourishing, you know, and, and it can be used to cut off, you know. So this is a sign of, 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 of and it can also be a sign for that. And this is what this rain represents that's taking place in all these places that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of the Lord and asking for you a king. So there, there it go. There it go. And Samuel called unto the Lord and the Lord sent rain and thunder that day, thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared Yahweh and Samuel. Was in Solomon 11 and 23. But thou hast mercy upon all for thou canst do all things and wink is at the sins of men because they should have men. So the Lord, he's sending this, and it's just a wink right now because we know he flooded the earth with water, which he said he's not going to do anymore. But the flood is coming, which is the fire, the flood of rain is coming to, the, you know, to an American city near you, man. And even the one you in, and Lord willing, if you in this truth, you know, you're the whole for the elect, you be pulled out of it onto those ships. You know, so it ain't nothing that the Heavenly Father can't do. It ain't no rain that he can't bring, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, these are these are those strange calamities, man. All right? So once more, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God, Yahweh, Bashmael Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom. All of this is, is completely coming to America, man. All these states, Nevada, that's Las Vegas, Kentucky, you know, and, you know, all, you know, the other places that was mentioned. All right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. So the Lord keeping his word. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 21, last scripture. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad and from the clouds as a well drawn bow shall they fly to the mark. Verse 28 was in Solomon chapter 5, and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast out, shall be cast as out of a stone bow, and the water of the sea shall rage against them, and the floods shall cruelly drown them. Yeah, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus, iniquity shall lie, lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. So this is vague. This is St. Louis. Deep water, flood water, as they say, Thursday, St. Louis. All right. He, water rushed in the glass art studio, knocking over displays and shattering artwork on Thursday, July 28th. St. Louis, a pedestrian walking, and as a massive amount of flood water rushes down the street towards Del Delmar Boulevard during a thunderstorm. St. Louis, St. Louis, multiple children are trapped inside St. Louis daycare center by rising flood waters as firefighters rush to save them. St. Peter's, 
Abandoned cars are scattered by flooding across a shuttered Interstate 70 at Mid Rivers Mall, <laughs> Spirit Says Drive, in St. Peter's, Missouri, after heavy rain fell through the night and into the morning on Thursday. But it's like, I am legend out here on these people, man. Only people going to be left is the elect, man. Kentucky, Lex Lexington fire fat fighters, Jeremy Miller and Captain Scott Butler warm up the engine before heading up Troublesome Creek to rescue people that have been stranded since Wednesday night in Lost Creek, Kentucky. A house is seen almost complete, completely, almost completely submerged off the burnt tea. So the Lord is not a liar. Remember, he flooded the whole earth. It was above the, the mountains, you know? So he can do this and still, you know, be keeping his word. It says, Bertie Combs Mountain Parkway on July 29th. This is in Kentucky. At least 16 people have been killed, and the hundreds had to be rescued amid flooding from heavy rainfall. So yeah, that was basically it, you know. Um, got a few more things I, I, I want to grab. Uh, maybe a couple articles. Spent 30 on this one. So this is the catastrophic flood in Kentucky. It killed 15. And they said they, they warned the death toll will double and children are filled to be among the dead. Flooding from Norfolk of Kentucky River came over Bertie Combs Parkway. Aerial view of homes submerged under flood waters. In North Fork of Kentucky River, Jackson, Kentucky. You know this is so-called white people, these damn Edomites. You know, aerial view of these these curses starting to part past to them. Jake had to deal with Katrina. You know the the islands be getting hit. All of this flooding, this type of activity is the, is is for the end is is for the end of them. These so-called white people, so-called white man, Esau. All right. It's all right, 40 and 10. These things are created for the wicked, and for their, their sakes came the flood. Let me read that again. Sirach 40 and 10. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. So when the, when the, the Lord told us when the wicked are cut off, we're going to see it. So Psalms 37 and 4. Wait on the Lord. Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. And keep his way. This is how the Heavenly Father said he's going to do it. He wants it to be done. This is what we are to be pushing. Right, and we hope that he's gonna do this. And that's what we say by hope. We're going to that word hope in Romans 8 and 24. It means expecting good and evil, meaning the Lord is gonna do everything that he said, which is why we have a sure word of prophecy and we do well that we take heed as unto a light in darkness. These people are finished. They have no clue they're wicked. They're against the Lord. While we're in the situation that we've been in, they think it's of their works, they think that uh um you know, they just, it, it, they have no clue. But anyway, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. So wait on the Lord, keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off. See that? That's when it's going to happen. And he says, what? Thou shalt see it. And this is exactly what's happen, happening. The wicked is being cut off. Their power is, is, is being taken from them, which is America. The Lord destroying this place, man. Right? Verse 37, mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. And that's exactly why we want to, you know, see this as good news and um, and focus on being like the men, the women, you know, approved of in the Bible and the scriptures that were always saved and approved of during times of trouble and were 
saved out of it. You know, when the times of trouble was brought for uh, for their enemies and for them to be honored by the Lord. And that's what we want to that's what we want to mark those particular individuals and those that we physically see manifest in these uh, that type of diligence that we are to, that we're told to have. You know, from the scriptures, you know, amongst us, we want to mark them, you know, meaning we want to pretty much watch them. All right. Keep your uh, uh, mind them what they're doing. Right. Be like these individuals in your way, you know, in your sincerity, I should say it says, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. So that's what's gonna happen. That's what this happening to. But the salvation of the wicked is the Lord is of the Lord. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah Slaki. But the salvation of the righteous, Satan. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. He is their strength in time of trouble. And the Lord shall Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in Him. So this is how we're gonna be saved. And this one more thing I want to touch on, I believe. On Essence.com, mega, mega church pastor John Gray in need of a miracle as he battles with dangerous saddle pulmonary embolism. His wife, Aventer, is calling for miracle healing, quote unquote, as the blood clot is potentially life threatening if it moves at all. And since then, he's come out of the hospital, you know, but this is uh, this guy who, you know, he's a mega church, mega ch uh, church pastor, man all on TV, on talk shows and all that. This dude's a false prophet. You know, he's a he's a wicked ass dude completely. He teaches for hire. And 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 the Lord is starting to touch way 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 more of these pastors. A lot of pastors are being killed, you know. I'm going to actually get one more. This right here. I'm not going to play the video. I might come back and do a, a, a specific uh video lesson regard these pastors and specifics. This is another instance though, slain pastor's husband, right? So this the pastor was either um, a man or a woman. I'm not saying either, so I'm not bearing false witness, but the pastor wasn't him. So it was probably a woman. Slain pastor, hus pastor's husband wants teen suspects prosecuted, prosecuted to the fullest. So these teens killed his wife. All right. They kill his wife, you know. The Lord is be against these false prophets, you know, these so-called black pastors that's been lying to our people, lying to his, you know, uh, scattering the flock, not gathering with you by your and and gathering by their own hearts, gathering by trimming their ways. You know, being men pleasers, gathering by the doctrine of the so-called white man, the philosophy of plant of Christianity, plantation plantation Christianity, right? And they're being finally touched for it because we're at the end. So, the real prophets will prophesy of what the Lord said the prophets always prophesied about, according to Jeremiah twenty-eight, and the false ones would do nothing. You know, they speak peace. That peace got to come, you know, and if that peace don't come, you know, that's a false prophet, man. And that's what these people doing. So we got it right. We're going to be saved because we expect the Lord to do what he said he's going to do. So this is, is we're, we're completely uh, in, in good state. I'm going to actually grab that because people think prophesying of this bad stuff is just it's bad. It's not, it's not fruitful. Right, well, this goes into the fruit. This is Romans 8, 23, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, right, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. We want to get out of here. We want all the promises. We're the Hebrew Israelites, for we are saved by hope. This is the point. But hope that, so this is what we push, hope, faith. But hope is that is seen is not hope for what a man see it. What do he have hope for? Right. So when we go to this word hope, which is what we're said to be saved by. The word right here is ellipsis, elpis 
or ellipse. And it says what? Expectation. That's the first thing of evil. Because the Lord said he's going to do it. And what? Expectation of good. Because the Lord is what? He's balanced. This is what we're gonna, how we're going to be saved. By expecting the Lord to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Good, bad, and good, man. And destroy these people that say otherwise. That say the Lord's, the Lord's people say he ain't going to do good. And this is right here. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Right, that say in their heart, the Lord Yahweh will do will not do good, neither will he do evil. Basically, the Lord is not going to do anything. And those are the Israelites that's going to be cut off. <laughs> They're going to die. They won't be saved because they don't have hope. As the scriptures say, all men have not faith, which is hope. I Meaning they ain't expecting the Lord to do nothing. What he say he's going to do. The Lord, they expect the Lord to not make good on his promise. Right? His word. But we do. No matter what it all consists of. We're with it. And that's how you're going to be saved if you're with both sides, man. We expect he's going to do evil and do good. These pastors, they completely against it. Now, if they do say it, right? Amos 9 and 10, all the sinners of my people shall, that shall die by the sword will say the evil, right? They admit to it, shall not overtake nor prevent us. Like basically, they ain't got nothing to worry about. We, we know. They don't, it ain't, it ain't in the way we say it. You know, they, oh, he could create, but he could create but wickedness, but, you know, they the those that, uh, when you go to Titus, Pretty much they act like they know the Lord, but in, in their works, they deny him. Yeah, Titus 1 and 15, I'm going to start at. It says, I'm actually start at 14. It says, Never, neither, neither not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth, right? Unto the pure, all things are pure. So everything in the scriptures is good to hear. It's good to bring out. It's everything the Lord said he's going to do. Is what we supposed to be, you know, expecting, man. That's that expected in Jeremiah 29 and 11. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Right. So you can't, Jake got to be selective. Something wrong with this. Something wrong with that. Oh, oh that, that, that Bible is, you know, even the, the so-called believers themselves do this. But to be even their mind and conscience is defiled. You know, and these pastors even do this. They profess that they know God. Oh, he, yeah, he bring evil. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course we know that, brother, sister. It says, but in works they deny him. See that? So they act. They if you expect the evil and good, you act like it. They don't act like it. They settled on their lees. Being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. And that's exactly why that happened to this guy, Mister Mega Church Pastor John Gray, and this Israelite woman. You know, slain pastor, husband wants suspect punished to the fullest. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Today, the victim's children ask for forgiveness for the suspects. WRG Shay Simon talked to Pastor Atura Eason Williams' husband, who feels quite different. I'm here, living a nightmare. A nightmare that replays for Darrell Eason Williams. She was out there in the yard till a minute, seconds, minute later, they came knocking on the door. Feet away from the living room, Darrell's wife, Pastor Atura Eason Williams, was shot and killed in broad daylight in her driveway. Wednesday, 20 year old Edward Rodriguez Tabar was. So I played it just to prove, okay, that's she's a woman. All right. So yeah. So once again, she claims she know the Lord, but if she knew him, she wouldn't be no dang pastor, no church. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's, you know, denying, you know, and work, she's abominable. And work works, she was abominable, you know, and, and, and you know, this is sad to say, but it is. It's the truth. And rubble bait. All right? Probably taught the scriptures without her head uncovered. She wasn't supposed to be doing any of that. She's supposed to be at home, right? And teaching younger women to be at home. According to so many scriptures. Ezekiel 3, 13 and 12, 13 and 2. But these are what? These are uh, the pastors, that the, the false prophets that the Lord said was going to come. 
and he's 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 getting now. Cause while America's being flooded all over, you know, from city to city, you know, and it's the signs of the end and what we need to be taking heed to is, is manifesting, you know, and and and, and seeing the signs of, of hope and looking up, you got these mugs still kicking that th these lies or acting settled on their leaves as, as if nothing's going to happen, as if nothing is happening. Ezekiel 13 and 1, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that say that, yeah, these so-called black, Latino, Native American, Indian pastors, so-called prophets, people that know, think they know the Bible, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, God, Bashem Yahushah, right? Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. All right. I'm going to jump down to six. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Right. They give them words they want to hear. And they, 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 they hope the words that they telling them actually come to pass when, it, when it's completely against the will, of, even if it's completely against the Heavenly Father's will. You know, when it's completely against the Heavenly Father's will. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination whereas ye say the Lord said, albeit I have not spoken? And the Lord, ain't nothing else coming to pass except what the Lord say, man. Lamentations 3 and 37. Who is he that said and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? You know, imagination. Someone that exists in someone's imagination. That's the only time, the only place that'll happen. In other words, it ain't happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that, man. A, 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 a false prophet that live in their imagination. That, you know, and they see everything they say is going to come to pass in their own heart, their own mind. You know, therefore, Ezekiel 13 and 8, thus save the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you saith the Lord Yahweh, and my hand shall be upon the prophets that, sh that see vanity. And now what does that mean? He's going to destroy them, man. Right? You read that in the NLT. Verse 9, Ezekiel 13 and 9, And I will raise my fist against all the prophets who see false visions and make lying predictions, and they will be banished from the community of Israel. I will blot their names from Israel's record books, and they will never set foot in their own land then you will know that I am the Lord, meaning sovereign Lord, meaning they're not going to make it onto the ships to go back home. They're not going to have per first, they're going to have, they're not going to take part in the first resurrection with Hamashiach. They're going to die a horrible death in America. You know, that's what's going to happen in the places they've been scattered. They're not going to make it, man. All right. Verse uh, 10 back in the KJV, because even because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. I'm going to jump to the point. Who let me read through, saying unto them, which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall, there shall be an overflowing shower. You see? Say unto them, which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall, there shall be an overflowing shower. That's what you're supposed to be prophesying about. So we got it right. And ye, O ye, O great hailstones shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. And that's exactly what's happening. Vegas is getting blew over right now, man. Lo, when the wall is falling, shall it not be said unto you, where is the daubing where we, where, where, with ye have daubed it? And that's why so many Israelites are wake, have waken up and left those churches, and they're going to leave those churches. And if they don't, those so-called churches, those buildings... Those temples made with hands, they're going to die. They're going to die there, man. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, God, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. Right? And the Lord is, is, is hey, man, this is the campaign against all false prophets. You know, the Lord events being complete, coming forth and being completely opposite, of, 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 you know, again, of, of the, what the, the false prophets are saying to make them look bad. And actually, they're going to be events to destroy the very things they, they, they take pleasure in, you know, that they will seek refuge or flee to. You know, it's crazy, man. Even their own buildings. So will I break down? The, I think a church just got burnt down the other day. 
so called. You know, it says so. I will. So will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with untempered mortar and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Right. Trusting in things, you basically building your house upon uh, uh, sand, you know, stuff with no st stability, you know, uh, false doctrines, which is which is not sound, meaning it's not established, meaning it's not sturdy, meaning it won't last. Do and it's actually lies, you know, and vanity, things that falter, man. Soon, soon as the pressure come, I thus will I. It's the point. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that have daubed it with untempered mortar and I will say uh, and will say unto you the wall is no more neither they that daubed it who that's fire <laughs> to wit the prophets of Israel which prophesied concerning Jerusalem and which see visions of peace for her and there is no peace save the Lord God ain't no peace coming to America man so that's what happened to with this situation mega church pastor John Gray in need of a miracle as he battles dangerous saddle pulmonary embolism so the Lord let him come out of the hospital let's see what he do though Let's see what you do. Let's see if you repent, right? We are Hebrew Israelites. You mar your beard, your head's bald, you lying on our people, you teaching for hire, you teaching false doctrine. The Lord could have killed you. He definitely wounded you. He did this to you, man, right? And we could, he could touch, he could touch one of us, touch one of us, but it wouldn't be because we t we going off. We could t push pr prove to the scriptures you going off, right? The real men of the Lord will be touched. To be to be tested, to be tried as gold. So as as the gold is tried in the fire, to come out golden. You know, when you touch, it is it, it's, it's different. It's to destroy you, man. All right. So that's basically it, man. You chosen, you know, but many are called, but few only few are actually chosen. You're you you know you are the call. You know, but you don't know if you are the elect. That's ultimately who's the chosen. You know, ultimately. And then all the elect, all the, the 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 Jakes that aren't saved, you know, which will show if they're chosen or not, um, will be back in the kingdom as the elect's children. So it's all about the elect. That's who the chosen are, and always was, man. All right, from the beginning, though they be of Israel, all are not Israel. You see, that are of Israel. The Israel of God is who he's looking for. Bloodline, Israelites, in, hourly and inwardly. You got to be a Jew outwardly and inwardly. I mean, a physical bloodline, Israelite, you got to act like one. You got to be thus saved the Lord, especially if you're a pastor. So this is a, a, a very big, you know, the Lord is on a very big campaign against these, 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 uh, if you will, these pastors. A lot of pastors get touched. They get in touch. A lot of them. They get their, their their minds are being seared. Their conscience being seared. You see what happened with? Uh, I'll go into that. I said I might do a separate lesson on all these these pastors that I know have been getting touched. Uh, Creflo Dollar. Okay. See right here, did Creflo Dollar really repent from teaching the false doctrine of Titan? He repented, man. All these dudes, they get, they get, uh, uh, <clears throat> let me just get this real quick. Televangelist Creflo Dollar says his teaching on tithing were not correct. He famously campaigned to raise funds for 65 million private jet, $65 million private jet, man. Right? Creflo Dollar, who famously campaigned to raise funds for a $65 million private jet, is speaking out against tithing. Right? According to Christian Post, the televangelist said during a sermon on July 3rd, quote, unquote, I argue that tithing isn't required or even encouraged for believers in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Man, he continued, quote, unquote, I want to start off by saying to you that I am growing and that the teachings I've shared in the times past on the subjects of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in humility to correct some things I have taught for years and believed for years, but could not write. The deceiver and the deceiver are his. You know, Job 12. It says, but could never understand it clearly because it, I had not been confronted with the gospel of grace. Right. A man can receive nothing unless it be given Unto him of the uh, heavenly father, man. You know, he got that man deceived. 
you know? Yeah. Job 12 and 16, with him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Ezekiel 14 and 9, and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, right? The Lord do what he want, man. You, you brother, you, 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 you so-called Christians, you pastors, y'all got to learn the Bible. Y'all don't, the Lord... He ain't showing you the Bible. He ain't showing you his word. He hasn't caused you to approach unto him. This is a revelation. Dwadi Habashimal Shah for allowing me to approach unto him. This is Romans 9 and 11. It says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to election, yeah, what he wants, right? Might stand not of works, but of him that call it. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve their younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. What shall we say? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Exactly. So the Lord, when you read the verse 15 in NLT, it says, For God said to Moses, I will show mercy to anyone I choose, and I will show compassion to anyone I choose. Right? You can't choose the Heavenly Father. He got to choose you. That's why it tells you right here, 65 and 4, Be blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee. See that? that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of the high holy temple. So you got it, man. The Lord God calls you to approach unto him. So as he said, Prefo Dollar says, I, he says, I stand in humility to correct some things I have taught for years and believed for years, but could never understand it clearly because I had not been confronted with the gospel of grace, which made the difference, right? The Lord deceived you. You know, he know who you actually are. You could be a wicked spirit, you know, but now he's just using you. He could, he, he going to kill you. He's probably still going to kill you, but he's to show who the real, the, the Lord created. It got to be false prophets. He created false prophets and got to be true prophets. The scriptures talk about that, you know, that, that uh, it got to be heresies among you to, to where you, to where we all know who real and who fake, right? That's how it go. All right. So dollar is it's basically it. He said a dollar is leading an advocate, leading an advocate of prosperity theology, which teaches that financial wealth is the reward of for de devotion to God. He said, quote unquote, I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route, I would never have ended up where I'm at right now. So he's not even really repented. But I will say that I have no shame at all to you. Say, saying to you, throw away every book, every tape, and every video I did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. That's crazy, man. It says, according to the report, so he he, he, he still got his riches, but the Lord completely showed him that he, you a lie. He going to destroy you, man. And you took a lot of money from people. It says, according to a report back in 2014, dollar was an estimated $27 million which is 900 times more than the not 290,000 to 29,640 average annual income in College Park. He's the richest dude out there, Georgia, where he resides. It's unclear how much his worth is has increased. However, Christian Post also reports the 60-year-old owns two homes worth approximately 5.7 million. So Micah 3 and 9, hear this, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, ye heads of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. Do you know what equity means? Right? Let's get the word equity in the scriptures and pervert all flourishing equity. Uh, let's see. The word right here is Yashar, which it says... Jump to the point, jump down, it says straight. Yeah, basically everything that's right or righteousness. Yeah, uprightness, integrity, upright. Jump back, jump back here real quick. Convenient. All right. Equity. 
assurance and yeah, social ju justice, yeah, and finance. Your equity is the sum of your assets. For example, the value of your house once your death has been paid, right? So all value, what you could have, they they completely pervert all that. They pervert all equity and what's right. As they say, you hate justice in the NLT. Listen to me, you leaders of Israel. You hate justice and twist all that is right. That build up, they right. That's crazy. It says they build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof teach, thereof judge reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean, will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. So now the Lord has give, give, uh, uh, given him over to, you know, pretty much the plague of the mind dang there, man. It says, verse 11, you rulers make decisions based on bribes. You teach, you priests teach God's laws only for a price, right? Tithing was of a law, right? But it was just for you to get paid. You prophets won't prophesy unless you are paid. Yet all of you claim to depend on the Lord. No harm can come to us, you say, for the Lord is here among you. Therefore, because of you, Mount Zion will be plowed like an open field. Jerusalem will be reduced to ruins. A thicket will grow on the heights where the temple now stands. And the Lord is going to pay y'all back for that because you had a lot of the elect that was listening, that was uh, listening to, you know, uh, the doctrine you helped spread, which you are responsible for. So the Lord said he's going to revenge his elect, man. He's going to destroy y'all. And you got the rest of our people jacked up. 1 Corinthians 11 and 19, I'll close here. For there must be also heresy, heresies among you, that they which are approved may be manifest among you in the NLT. But of course, there must be divisions among you so that you who have God's approval will be recognized, right? Because if you don't know what the Bible talking about, you clearly ain't got the approval of the Heavenly Father, man. You ain't teaching and living by it to the best of your ability. You don't got that approval, man. All right, so, hey, it's clear we got it right. It's clear was we got it right. We got the whole thing right. So our salvation is nearer than what we believe. So, so hey, so look up and understand these all these things are just made for the wicked, man. All right, so call Allah Allah Yahweh Bashmi Al Shawa Hawakakudash, double honor to the hopefully elect elder apostles of the Lord willing slate to be saved. Starting with the elder men at the GMS church on down to the rest. Shalom to the rest that may be out here, be out and be out here under the same doctrine, all to the Akim here. Doing what they need to do at this faction of this hopefully elect assembly. We're also in on and to the rest of the Akim doing white guys and the rest to the rest of you believers as well. Shalom.